Hey guys, welcome back to part two of the visor project on the Model A. This episode is all win. If winning involves some good old fashioned butchery and cutting up of some metal, and my favorite part, using up a couple of grinding wheels. So, before we get started, remember to hit the subscribe button. You don't want to miss it when we do future videos like this. Do me a favor, let me know what you think, and uh, enjoy. Well, as you can see, I did a little bit of disassembly on the engine. I took the headers and the intake. It was just sitting on there, but I took it off, stored it because I was tired of banging my knees on it as I work on this, the header panel. So welcome back. Hopefully this is the final part, uh, part two and the final part of this part of the project. You can see where we left off. I have my piece of tube cut, trimmed, clamped down, and hopefully you can see here it's got a nice bow to it. It should have the right shape. And now I'm going to start welding. I'm going to start stitching it back and forth, clamping further out, and bring it down to where hopefully I close this gap down on both sides and have it uh, in the perfect position to put my uh, to visor to. So I better quit talking and start getting after it. tacked in, uh, tied in, probably as good as I'm going to get it tied in. You might not like the looks of those welds, but wait till you see me grind. All right, the next move now is to get my visor, put it on here and figure out how much I need to chop off of it to mount it, move it back here and tie it all in together. But I think this is coming along pretty good. I don't know. You guys will have to tell me what you think. Do me a favor. Put a comment down there. Uh, let me know if you think this was a good idea, bad idea, whatever. I'd love to hear your feedback. Uh, while you're thinking about that, I'm going to keep on chopping stuff up and welding. Here is what I'm thinking for where I need to trim it. First off, this visor, not an original 3031 visor. I would feel really bad cutting up an original one. This is a repro one I got off eBay. Uh, I forget who the seller is, but it's pretty good. It's in pretty good shape. Uh, they did a good job making it, but I don't feel too bad cutting it up. I 
feel a little bit bad. We'll see how it works out. It won't work the way it is, so I gotta do something. I don't know if you can tell there, but I scribed a line right from that corner down to this corner. I'm gonna nip that off both sides and then we'll we'll go mock it up and see if we can start doing some tack welding. and see how this goes. Well, I've been doing some cutting, some figuring. I came right in here, trimmed that up, and I had to come right in here and trim this up on both sides. But I think that's what it's gonna look like. I got it just clamped in place right now. And I've been fighting back and forth, but this side, I'll try to get it to look right. This side's just right. I like how this lines up just perfectly. So I think I'm gonna tack it up tack this side in and then I can kind of work on this other side a little bit and then I'll tack it on this side as well and then I'll start here in the middle clamp it down tack it and work my way outside to kind of push any any sort of uh, extra out to the outsides because I just can't get this side to line up exactly like I want so I'll do a little I'll do a little tweaking on it once I get this side set in uh, but I'm gonna go for it start tacking this thing in and make it permanent part of the car here goes nothing There she is the visor welded on the car. I got it tacked into place Hope you guys can see that You can see how I tacked it across there And then I just tacked it in on the side here, and I'm gonna weld that up and grind it smooth but you can see I got the angle down here where I'll be able to come in on each side and build my patch panel now where I'll just lay a lay a patch right in here probably connect to here over and tie it in so anyway that's that for tonight I just got the uh, gov governor's notification that we are on a stay-at-home order for about the next two weeks pretty sure nobody inside the house is stoked on right now so I'm gonna wrap it up for the night and head on in maybe I'll come back out and work all night I don't know we'll see hey guys welcome back next day here I'm starting to jump back on the Model A visor project as you can see here beside me I've got it tacked into place but there's a big old ugly gap in there between where the original roof came in, the roof line came in, and then where this visor is mounted. And part of that is because the visor is not in the location where original visor would be on a 29. Um, and I got rid of that header panel and all that good stuff you saw in the other videos. So I've got this piece, empty thing here, where I, or empty space here that I got to build a piece to fit in. That's what I did. I got a piece of sheet metal here. I've got it trimmed out pretty good and my intent is to put this thing in about like that and tack it all into place and then do my specialty which is grind all the welds and make it look pretty because the intent is going to be to have just a nice smooth transition from the original roof to this visor um, covered up in there and then I'll figure out what I'm going to do with my roof and all that stuff later on. So I don't want to give anybody any false uh, impression that this is like a how-to on metalworking because I'm figuring it out as I go. And one of the things I had to do is build a little, uh, I don't even know what you'd call it here, but a, a buck, I guess, to build my, to shape my curve on. So I got my old school uh, body hammer and then uh, the old rubber mallet and just shaped it like that. And it came out pretty good. You saw it fit on there pretty good. So. I'm gonna come over here and do what I hate doing, what's necessary, and that's to kind of cut out some of the old original steel and uh, trim it up to make space for this and then come in and start tacking that together. We'll see how it goes. Okay, we can check this thing out. See how this patch panel got tacked in. Before we look at it, uh, I don't want to overstate the fact that I'm not a body man. Just keep that in mind. But check it out. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Pass your judgment. Whatever you want to do, it's all good. If you got any good pointers, I'll take them. But here's how she ended up. I stitched it in. 
uh, here and here kind of get a look over the top but what I'm really happy about is that view right there uh, my intent was that it all just kind of blends blends in so I've only got about another day of my life out here continuing spot welds all through there before I hit it with my true specialty which is grinding things off so there you go that's how it looks for now I'll probably put a few more tack welds on and then call it a day and then I got to just repeat the same thing on the other side All right, guys, I just want to show you where we came and how we uh, how far we came on this project and how we're wrapping it up. This is the passenger side undone. You can see how this is all hammered in here and I got this big ugly gap to fill. Uh, and I want to walk over here to the driver's side and I'll show you how far we uh, how far I got it. And in fact, I'm going to wrap it up with that and just call this complete at least enough to make a video. You guys get the point. So check it out. Here it is, that piece of sheet metal laid in there. Uh, there's a couple spots I need to tack in and, and smooth again, but that's, that's good enough for now. And if you look from the front, we met my objective. Blends in real nice. Uh, come in from the side. You can see it's in there uh, pretty good. Good enough, if I was one of those TV shows, I'd send it off for paint now, and then it would come back after a commercial break and it would uh, be finished. But I'm happy with it. I'm calling that complete. Uh, that's enough for this project of hanging the visor on the Model A. You guys do me a favor. Give me some feedback. Leave me some comments if you like it, if you don't like it, if you've done it and you had the same, the same issues or learned some tricks, let me know because I'm still going to go do the other side still. Um, and also, do me a favor, favor and subscri subscribe. <laughs> subscribe to the channel. I can't get my words out. Subscribe, share with a friend. Give me the thumbs up. There's a little bell down there too. You can uh, click that thing and that way you know if you've got uh, a new video for you to watch. But thanks. Thanks for checking it out. Share with a friend. Let's grow this community. All right.